Hi everyone, in partnership with Dairyland, I brought you a very important guest, someone I consider my first love. Yeah, so we're going to be answering a couple of questions uh, and I'll start with the first one. So, mom. Yes. What would you say was your best day memory? In, in our lives, I'm a... Hey, in our lives, eh? The best day in memory is, is the, the, the time when you passed your exams in Form 4. And I wanted everybody to know that you had passed. <laughs> well, yeah, so my best memory uh, is when I was in high school. Uh, so I remember Ulgo Kikuja visiting day and they were lit. Uh, I remember we were with Nimrod, Maina, shout out. Uh, and then you'd bring for us pizza uh, and all these fancy things. So so uh bougie what was the worst day of your life and why <clears throat> the worst day of my life is is the time when you came when you appears to your ears ah <laughs> and yeah. uh i told you that not under my roof <laughs> so that was my worst meaning mm -hmm. yes and by the way this is not how it happened context I waited for her to sleep and then the Kamuliza. Mom, there's a PS maskio. And then she was like, mm. and then I went and did it. Then when I came back, it was a problem. I'll never forget that day by the way. Uh, so my worst day, uh, the one that comes to mind is when we used to live in Kirinyaga Road. And then you went to work in the morning and then I heard you shouting. Uh, and I could probably shout, the blood of Jesus. And that was a distance and I could hear you from all the way from the house. And uh, it's because you're being robbed and I couldn't do anything about it. So that was the worst day. Yeah, I for remember me. that time. Yeah. How was it growing up as an only child? It was not very interesting because um, you find that each and every child is coming, hanging out with their own brothers. And don't feel the name of why me, why am mm. I not having a brother or a sister? But uh, I didn't have a choice. Well, actually, yeah, it's true. It's very lonely. Um, most times I'd wonder why also I don't have sisters and brothers to play with. But the good thing was that where we used to live, there were other children. Yeah, so that made it feel like I had people around me. So, yeah, but growing up later on, it, I kept feeling that there was so much pressure. Ju, it's just me and you. So what happens when I grow up? That was it for me. But I got married. Yeah, you got married. So, and I got, and I, and I got other two children. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, the one time that you let me down. Um, so, I remember when I was in primary school. I think I was in like class one or something. So, I used to, you used to give me bus fare. Mm. And then you tell me to come back home by myself, like using Matatu. And then what I used to do was I would walk from school, so Hospital Hill, all the way to where we used to live in Kirinyaga Road. And I would use the money, I'd keep the money, and then buy uh, njugu, groundnuts. Yeah? And then I used to do this a lot of times. And then one day, someone saw me and then they, they reported me to you. And then you can chapa. <laughs> and then now uh, from that day, Sijay Jwakusib. That's just a nice excuse. So the next question is, uh, when are you most proud of me? So I saw my dreams being fulfilled. And I remember I'd written that date in one of my diaries that will I ever see my son in the university? And that time when I was talking about my son in the university, you are only two months. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So when I saw that the dream has come, come to pass, I was very, very happy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm. So moments I was proud of you. I think there's so many. And uh, what, I, what comes to my mind is the type of... Uh, like not looking at, like now after I've grown up and I look at everyone around me, I'm like the type of woman you are, like from the moment when, because remember we started from a very like humble place. Very humble yeah, place. Yeah, a kawan, karum, mm. and seeing you uh, taking me to school, uh, handling a job, 
Uh, at some point, you even had like businesses on the side, and you're doing all these things every day without getting tired. Mm -hmm. And you worked so hard, you moved from being a secretary and you grew all the way like you went to all these ranks over so many years. So I think that has been the proudest moment, the fact that you raised yourself from... And you know, that at that time, even your mom wasn't there, your mom had passed away. So technically, you're an orphan with a child. And you found out a way to take me to good schools and to make me the person I am today. So I'm really very, very, very proud of that. Because yeah. I remember one time we were in Kriyanyaga Road and we were having that one room. We had a wardrobe there. You'd open the, 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 do the, 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 the doors of the nini, of the wardrobe, and you'd tell me that one day we shall be opening our, our bedrooms like this. Yeah. And <laughs> Yeah, because I've never seen a bedroom. Yeah, I didn't know people say they had bedrooms that yes, really colour. Yeah, yeah. We, could not, we had not seen any bedroom. Yeah. And I went back to school. Yeah. So me I, I worked. You took yourself to school? I took myself to school up to the university level. Yeah. And I was only up from four liver. Uh tell us one embarrassing moment about me. One embarrassing moment is when we are coming out from school <laughs> and you play with sad from the head to the toe. You are full of dust and everybody never wanted to sit next to you. Yeah, you remember I lost you... my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Coming back home with one shoe. <laughs> <laughs> and always losing sweaters in school. And flasks. <laughs> and flasks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Me, the embarrassing moment that comes to my mind mm. is when you used to expose me to your, your friends. And you tell them very embarrassing stories about me. So anyone you meet, anyone she meets, she tells them about uh, weird things that I did when I was young. <laughs> and there's one day made a blunder. Hey, so uh, there's this lady, she was called Heta. And she was our neighbor. So she came to our house and we were just sitting. And then my mom started. She was like, uh, now telling her embarrassing stories about me. And then now, cause I was so like, I was so anxious and I was nervous about what she's going to say. I remember I shouted, shut up, way before those words left my mouth. <laughs> is what is one thing you'd change about me? One thing I would, <laughs> if I had the power to do that, <laughs> is to remove the earrings. Ah, Pana, ulinambia, not under my roof. That's how I'm going to go to my house. I don't know if I'd change anything about you maybe mm. your thoughts about the earrings i'll be changed i want you to be somebody who is thinking independently and i know that that is how you have been the other day when you came with a with a car home you had not even told me that you are buying <laughs> and i was very happy about that then you anticipated that you are bringing me a girl <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I told you. I was like, Mom, I'm coming with a girl. Mm. Uh, I need to introduce you to her. Yes. And then, uh, she, so she came to the gate standing waiting. So when the gate was opened, hey, the girl checked in. Woo, Nala. <laughs> and what would you mm. advise, because I know you've experienced this before, mm. uh, before getting married, mm. what would you advise someone uh, out there mm. who maybe is going through a single mom situation mm. and they don't know if they can actually make it or be able to raise this child that they've been left with, mm. uh, how, what would you tell them? I will tell them not to give up. If I made it, they also make it. First of all, they have to put God in, their, in, their, in everything that they do. I cannot leave that because that is what has been my driving force. Mm. Yeah, and tell them that uh, not to look themselves down. Mm. Yeah, so uh, I will tell them to keep on pushing on I am telling you even that the children of single people, they are normally very, very, very sharp. Because you ensure that you have trained them the best because... Yeah, you are doing both. Bo you are doing both. Both roles, yeah. Yes. I want to say thank you so much. You are most welcome. Yeah, and thank you, a big thank you to Dairyland for giving us this opportunity. So, thank you.